good morning. A little bit of electrical tester content now, and some other bits and bobs. I've been sent some stuff. I've been putting off recording because I've got hay fever and I look like a recovering drug addict, which, which I suppose I probably could be. Right, I've turned the air conditioner off for 10 minutes while I record this, so if I start to look like a recovering drug addict, it's because I am. So anyway, I've just hit the tripod and start that again now, whoopsies. Kev, that used to work for Chevron, uh, 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 CEF, said I've got some stuff for you, some teaching stuff for you. I'm going to show you this, what he's got now, because this is outstanding. Big thanks to Kev for this. I think he bought this with the intention to give it to me. So he won't be paying for the next courier we go for, Kev. There you go. Kev got me this, which is so heavy, I'm going to have to change the shot weight there. Kev got me this, from a flea market and just gave it to me. So big thanks, Kev. I want to flip you around and I'll show you. This is what I would refer to. I think it's called a cutaway. And it's done in an old school style where the cutaway bits are marked in red. So you can see where it's been cut away. And it exposes the inner workings to you, to the in, exposes the inner workings to you on the inside. So let me show you this. It's got a bit of history that I'm never going to find out about, but it's quite nice to look at. So I'd call it a cutaway, but the actual word is, as on the plate, it's sectioned by Andrew Tart and Colin Freeman. God knows where it's from, yeah? No one knows, but if you are Andrew Tart or Colin Freeman, you section this device... That's where you do this. Look, they've cut it away, filed it, and painted it red so you can see where the bit's missing. I've seen it done with guns and all sorts of stuff. So it's a it's an English electric, proper English electric motor. English electric electrified the world. It's a really weird top. I believe that might be some sort of weird DC thing. I'm not sure what kind of motor this is. Because it's got them four terminals. What's this other side? I don't know. I'm, a class three phase. I don't know what it is. There's the label anyway for anyone's playing along at home. To see what it does, but it's, it's such a weird motor. But anyway, it doesn't matter because it shows you all the insides lock, all the state, or all the cores have been cut back. It's quite hard to do that, I'd imagine. And then if I flip it round on the front edge, yeah, it's all cut away at the front lock, exposing the bearings and the windings and the stator and the shaft. And the obviously the terminal box has been cut away. It's attached to a frame and all in there. Like you can see all the gubbins and the back bearing and everything. So yeah, cheers for that, Kev. It's a nice bit. Also, Kev also donated me. A massive collection of books, which I've got to wade through. It's uh, If anyone, if there's any that aren't any good to me, he said just to give them away to people that would like them, so I'll have a dig through them. They're going to get used for training. They're old books, but it's sometimes useful to have old books. It's like 70 of this wine things. It's sometimes useful to see how it used to be done. And there's like sunlight and electricity. That'll be useful for the solar course because it's always nice to refer to older stuff that's like a bit out of date and see how it's gone on. And there's just stacks and stacks and stacks of books here. So yeah, cheers, Kev, for that. I appreciate that. I appreciate everyone sending me shit. Also, I've got this package this morning. Hopefully, the person... I always say to people, if you want to send me stuff, mess me, I'll give you an address. And if you send me something, make sure you put your name in there. So if you're naming it here, you sent me this, before I did back from a message, find out who you are, let me know. I asked for some meters. I've done a lot of stuff on metering. But it's all been everything on my YouTube channel, CT metering. And some people are going, oh, I don't work with those kind of meters. I see normal domestic meters. It's like, well, I'll do some videos on them then and how they work. To go and purchase stuff for YouTube is expensive. You know I mean, I've got kids. Like, I can't just go and buy it. Much as I'd love to go buy it. If I won the lottery, I'd buy loads of stuff and just demonstrate on YouTube for the good of the educational electrical community. But I can't. So I've not looked at it here. Someone sent me this. I asked some meters. And someone's gone, oh, I'll send you some. He hasn't even asked for posters yet. Look at that beast. That is a retro old meter, that is. So I'm going to hopefully find out in a minute who some of these. So there's a really old DAR meter. Single, um, single, single cost magnetic DAR. So we'll look at those in another video later. And by later, I don't mean today. I mean at some point in the future when I've worked out what goes off with them. What else is in here? You're all seeing it as I see it. What is that? Oh, a cutout because I'll probably make a little board up for here. So there's an old cutout. Thank you very much. It's all useful for training. That meat is lovely, though. That meat is a proper old retro one. And I've got probably a couple of serial numbers. That's the old Siemens one. I remember these because I believe, I believe, believe beneath this was a great meter. Every spark of this because beneath one of these cupboards covers is an isolator. Let me get a screwdriver and check that for you. Wait there. This should have been the standard. John loves these. John from Fox loves these. I believe if you unscrew this one, if you unscrew the side that's your side, I think I remember, I'll unscrew both sides. You unscrew the side that's your customer side, and the spark is this, it was a secret. Very, very tiny meter made by Siemens. 
Yeah, look, and then there, look, there's a little switch. That's a 100 amp isolator. What a fantastic meat design. Absolutely fantastic. Remember these, but the thing, you could always just, that's on lock and you put the cover back on. That is your side, so you can't nick it. And they seal that side, so that's going to be, anyway, I'll cover that in more detail later on. Because that's uh, interesting, because it's very compact. But obviously, there's still CTs in here and stuff like that. So, yeah, again, whoever sent these, open the parcel, might say what it is. That'll be in a new video in the future, because I appreciate that's what people actually see. And there's something else. There's a cutout as well. Different style of cutout, which you can use for demonstrations. Thank you very much. I'll see the names in here now. Wait there. There's a fuse for that carrier. Again, these are all to get, and they're useful. Like I said, I can't afford to go buying them to use on YouTube, so that's there. I think someone else sent to me as well. The name is not in here. If you're going to send me something, put your name in. Put your Instagram handle in. I believe it's from Guy. So thank you, Guy. Not say your full name in case your company find out you send me meters or anything like that. Let me know if you want to shout out. And yeah, so if you do send me something, make sure you put your Instagram thing in here so I'll give you a shout out. So yeah, I appreciate all those being sent to me. I think you've got some other stuff too for the post bag as well. I'll have a look around now. Just a quick note stuff like this. If you're taking this stuff out, all right, and you want to help the trainees of the future and that kind of stuff, this is getting more and more hard to get your hands on. And for a long time, I would love to people just to send it all to me and I could distribute it out, but I can't fucking afford to do that with postage yet. So if you've got some of this stuff, if you're a college or a trainer that wants stuff like this, if you tell me what you're after, I'll try and put a shout out for you. Or maybe I'll start a group of these case so people can swap this stuff because it's going to end up with a skip. Like, and it makes great wall displays to show you how stuff used to work and that kind of thing. It's inevitably useful to make training establishments more interesting. So if you are getting rid of stuff like this or you come across it, like I've done a radio test, which I think someone sent to me, let me know if you have some and I'll try and put you in touch with people that can get it to you. Because it's, like I say, this is... This stuff's gone. When it's gone, it's gone. There's no more of it. That's why I've tons of shit lying around here, you know what I mean? This was given to me, so it's an ad. Whatever you fucking want, yeah. It's an ad. They sent it to me for free. I didn't pay for it. It's not really an ad. I just like it. I also want to talk about it. They haven't paid me to tell you it's great. But this one, by Chevron on here, this is the Digiflex MA400D, because I think it goes to 400. This is the little flexible clamp that goes in everywhere. It's really, really good. It has become a staple of my test bag. However... I fed back to them what I did and did not like about it. And if you've watched any of the other videos with it on, I like it. It's great. It literally gets in places that other testers can't get. Two little faults I had with it. One was, I fed this back to Chevron. You know what I mean? I don't suck them off. I tell them what the crack is, yeah? This lead is very, very thin. Now, it may be very, very hard wearing, but I'm very concerned that it's very, very thin. So I keep it wrapped up in a bag, in a polythene bag. And the other thing I like it is, it hasn't got a magnet on, which I thought it could do with. I appreciate that some people, though, don't want magnets on stuff. So, anyway, I told them that. And Julian says it'll feed back to France that the cable could do with being thicker and more manly. However, it is test gear, yeah? The normal CTs like that. Maybe it's just me because I'm used to thicker leads. Maybe thicker leads are worse, I don't know. But anyway, so it's not got a magnet, that leads thing. So I keep it wrapped in a bag. And he goes, don't keep it wrapped in a bag. We've got a bag, so they sent me a bag. So now I can keep it in there nice and safe. And the bag could get wrapped around in my fucking lunchbox, in my toolbox. And the tester inside will stay nice and the bag will get fucked. So that's good. They do that. They do bags. You don't have to buy their bag though. Buy someone else's bag. You know what I mean? Buy them a little tool patch. I don't care. One thing they do sell for it is, is this. This is the magnet bit. Now the good thing about this magnet bit is, it's a belt clip and it's got this little hook on which is basically acts like a screw. And on the back look, there's a screw hole so it hooks on like that. And then it magnets the stuff. So that solved the magneting problem. And also, I'm guessing, lots of their other stuff has that hook on. So you don't need to worry about buying two of them because the same tester will hook on it multiple times. And then, quite cleverly, the bag's got the same hook on. So I can hook it on the bag and use that as a pouch on my belt if I want to look like, I don't know, some commando and magnet to stuff. So yeah, so a few people say it's not got a magnet on and there's the solution to that. So I just want to tell that out because it's sent Also, don't buy anything on Shovel or New without contacting them, yeah? Don't go buy it off Amazon or RS or like that, like Alan Chandy, because he's minted. Are you fake or something? Shovin has said, if you give them a bell, they'll tell you the best distributor to get the best price from. So uh, bear that in mind. So yeah, there you go. Bit of an ad. Not an ad though, because this is fucking banging. It's absolutely banging. So thanks for that. Thanks, Chevron. Thanks, Kev at HGT, or just, just Kev. Kev Smith. Great guy. Uh, and thank you to Guy, who sent me the metering stuff. That all have to sit there for a bit, because I'm trying to build up an old metering ass assembly. A bit like David Savo, just copying what he does. Yeah? So I need to get... A couple of old meters of radio tele switch and then just go through the whole lot as a wanna all about metering. There's not enough there to do it. I need some other bits and bobs to make sense. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. That'll be that'll be on the channel, aren't they? You know how quick my turnaround is. That could be on the channel, I don't know. Six to twelve months, something like that. So yeah, thanks very much. All unboxed for you. Give me a shout if you send me a thing. 
And I want to go and carry on with clean up now. My paperwork are very boring. Next you'll be saying you call diluting juice cordial.